Uh-huh. You blind, little bird? Or can you not see I'm busy? Why is it every sissy pig fucker who strolls into my town expects me to smile and shout awful friendly? Welcome to Fallbrook. Only nugget of paradise in this entire law-forsaken land. Like a void damn advert. Catherine, you're as welcoming as ever. Truthfully spoken, I do aim to properly represent my aforementioned nugget of paradise. You know, I ain't heard that one before. Suppose I'll have to work harder to show you just what makes our town shine. But first, I'll need to know what brings you, stranger. Well, I'm half listening. Funny, you don't look like one of Lilia's. Sure sound the part, though. Good of you to finally haul your ass over here. I wired for backup weeks ago. Got something that's gonna require special extraction from Cascadia. Found it on a corpse, huh? If you killed Lilia's agent, you get to explain it to her. Not me. Well, shit. I knew he'd come to a bad end one day. Still, no time for weeping and wailing. We've got a metric fuck ton of bits worth of salvage just waiting for extraction. So you got a brain on them shoulders. Excellent. Makes my life a world easier. To extract the gas, you'll need to siphon it from the lab in Cascadia into one of your ship's fuel tanks. Totally meaning safe for me and my crew. Seeing as it ain't us undertaking the risk. Hold your thrusters. I ain't even got to the tricky part. To get to the gas, you'll need to navigate through the town, which is overrun by marauders. The lab itself has become an infested nest, crawling with mantis. You gotta fight through, or figure out some other way to exterminate them. Maybe the ventilation system? And will again. We ought to be taking any opportunity we get to bury those critters in lead. Direct and aggressive. I always did like your sensibilities. You know when to strike, and when to wait. Shame what came of your crew. Crews are for ships. They were a family. Close enough. Now, after you clear the manti nest and reach the storage room, all that's left is to get the gas flowing into the fuel system. The task will require someone with technical skills. Or you could force it through with a plasma overload. Don't recommend that option, though, unless you want to get dead. Well, I haven't seen the system, but I feel confident saying I can split her asunder. I'll just bet you can. Men of the cloth never do cease to amaze me. Bright as a newborn star on the outside, blackest of holes within. Once you've got our goods, take them to the groundbreaker. Lilia's fencers ought to handle the rest of it. I've marked the coordinates for you to the lab in Cascadia. On the terminal, use the passcode you got from Stellar Bay to get in. But before you make your run, I could use a heavy helping hand regarding a local issue. For a fine fee, of course. Good. This particular matter of opportunity has been eating at me for a while now. There's a Borst factory on up the way, run by a man who calls himself the King. Clive Lundberg, insufferable prick. That aside, it's a business ripe for the plucking. I want it. Clear as that. Stars, I hope so. Clive Lundberg, the self-proclaimed Borst King of Monarch, is swimming in profit and drowning in his ego. He's making the only meal to be had this side of Monarch, and I'm tired of ponying up for my dinner. I want that Borst factory, owner dead or alive. And you're the soon-to-be-handsomely-paid fucker who's gonna get it for me. Guess you've got it figured out, then. Good. Hit him where it hurts. In his gut or his production lines ought to make do. If you got brass knockers, you can shoot your way through the front gate. If you don't fancy getting shot to shit, you can try asking Duncan for a disguise. Might be another way in, assuming you're courageous enough to trek the sewers. Void if I know. Then I'd say you might care to poison the sisty pigs, doctor a few financial records, or throw a wrench in the canning machinery. 
Sometimes the simplest solution is the sweetest. I don't give a wit about the method or the means, just the end. It'll be more than good when you're finished. Maybe not for Clive, but for me and you, I'm sure. Oh, and if you don't fancy going in guns blazing or crawling through a sewer pipe, see Duncan in the dry goods and sundry building. He ought to have an employee ID in that stash of illicit goods he keeps for select clientele. May luck be with you, since I won't be. <laughs>